Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. Right, so with the receipt and the address on it, you follow uh, weaving a little bit through the street. You don't really need to get uh, hail a, a courier this time. It's just a little bit of a ways down the road. And as you approach the building, you see that uh, there appears to be an argument occurring at the front door. There are several individuals standing around looking like they're, they're, they're meaning some not so altruistic business. Uh, there is a person with a mess of horns and orbs floating around. There are woven antlers and large butterfly slash bat-like wings protruding and they are draped out in these as a peacock feather styled uh, outfit. There is a very fashionably dressed individual with a trim goatee and a lute slung over his back, who's just sort of drumming his hands on his uh, on his fingers on his back of his hand. There is a, an orog uh, with a large axe, uh, just kind of sitting there, sort of looking at the axe and you know, eyeing down in the doorway. Um, and there is someone who uh, they they look kind of. Um, earthy they have like stone like skin and the little crystals protruding from the top of their head as if it was uh if it was hair uh you would recognize them as a, as a genasi or a ganasi uh, and they they're kind of leaning back on a staff and they've got a, a little bit of um, moss growing out of some of the cracks in their in their skin and then there is uh a pale woman with black armor, red feathered wings, huge horns and a uh, kind of just coiling a whip around one of her hands, and speaking to a uh, ursine figure at the door is a robed fox-like being carrying a couple of scrolls with the pince-nez perched precariously at the end of their snout. Uh, and as you approach, you begin to hear things like the word taxes and kneecaps and breaking. Mm. I mean, I definitely find there's very few arguments that aren't solved by a meteor somewhere. But yes, but well, um, hold on. We don't. How old is the front of the building? I, I might, I might be new. <laughs> I might be new to this place, but I keep hearing about this harmonium, these mercy killers. And perhaps we don't attract that level of heat. I'm not afraid of them, but I mean, let's. I mean, I have to say, 
it, it pains me personally. I mean, you're here to, to save the downtrodden and the whatever. It pains me personally to see someone being forced to pay tax. Well, hold on. I There's mean, other ways know. to take care of this. Uh, yes, yeah, so such gravity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a couple times they were as they come down. <laughs> I mean, perhaps you could try words. At the oh, not all the kind of words that are okay, coming. Oh, word. I know some words. Word no, I that know some it. words that's that are very interesting. <laughs> Disintegrate. That's yeah. disintegrate. Power right. words, if you will. What? A, take, like, a, take a shot. At I this, like kid. the term power. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, uh, just uh, oh, yes. to get this here. The can sort of do a little, uh, a little yeah. rouge. Oh, you know, like no. thing. Oh, that's a uh, wrong die. Let's see, wrong die type. Yeah, that's a plus three. Oh, the, no, you, you're getting much better at the application of this rouge. I will turn and <laughs> my dice are broken. Sword. Just like you know, oh, casually, yeah. casually, and I will, I will make my way over to uh, the, 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 the the assortment, the assortment the, 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 the row. And the, I can see that they, I can see that the um, that the bear person their sign, mm -hmm. which looks familiar to me, it does, uh, is being somewhat like not pushed, but being um, a little. It's it's six on one for sure, and these uh, people are electing. They so as you approach, you do over here the uh, the the large uh, oversized fox like being with the uh, with the scroll saying, "I see here, your uncle owes us significant taxations for uh, deals made here and for the autograph session they ran here and for the books here okay. and uh, well they haven't paid so okay, okay, uh, that's okay. going to fall to you seeing as they currently are in here. Uh, that's a lot. That's so what thing. what do we see arguing with this fox being? Yes, you see a tall Ursine, um, very akin to a brown bear. Um, they have cute little ears, a cute little nose. They're wearing like nice scout outfits, um, something that would blend really well into a forest. Um, and they're kind of, like they're definitely intimidating looking. What bear isn't? But they look cowed. Like it's just six against one. I'm taller than all of them, and yet Maple is just nervously writing on their book and trying to keep track of all the the fees, the, the taxes, the dues, the debts. Too many debts, and they are writing with a beautiful quill their long little taloned bear paws um behind the uh unit of vagabonds trying to collect the taxes uh, you'll see a, a knight that looks similar to me um he has uh milky white eyes that are sort of like uh not not undead or not glowing but they're uh devoid of color and uh with a little bit of a tinge of, of supernatural to them but not asmr like asmr and um He's approaching with an amber blade, a large amber blade um, that is kind of casually slung to his shoulder. Um, and you feel um, you don't see anything uh, that he's joining these people. Like he's just coming to interrupt. And I'm doing so purposely to make it look like I'm coming to interrupt. And I will say, um, excuse me, everyone. Uh, they, they, they all kind of look over and the fox just gestures to the orog and he just... Oh, did I say he official... Uh business. Oh, understood completely. Um, we also have business with this particular person. Uh, well, wait, they hired you to break their kneecaps too? Actually, oh, they're going behind our back? Actually, they didn't hire us to break <laughs> their kneecaps. They hired us to ensure that you leave them alone because of taxation that was already prepaid and just wasn't hey, quite delivered to you. Uh, Yep, 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 yep. The elephant from Padak? I don't understand what he's saying. I, 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 the fox just... We're from the ladies of Chestman Bureau. Yes, another the, person. The what? Uh, ladies... Is that going to be an exception? Chestman. <laughs> and, and that's, of course, the lady. Not, you make him yeah, an yeah, yeah. exception? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> While this is going on... 19 is the naked... Okay. <laughs> While this is going on... Who, who should I turn to that? There are six of them, and they're all very individual. Mm. I think like the fox. Pains. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, you see. Oh, stop! I start. Stop. I know. I'm not going to fight. I start to manipulate the cards a little bit, and then you guys kind of see because you've been watching me do this, but they don't. They're probably distracted. They are very distracted. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> quick as a whip, I throw this card that at the fox. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it touches, it disintegrates into thin air. 
Um, please the card does. Me. Yeah, please. The card does. Okay. The card. <laughs> oh, please make a wisdom saving throw. Is this magic? It is mad. I mean, it is. Yes, it's magic. Again. Oh my god. Uh, it's magic. Uh, wait, 24. 24? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> it'll be good. So nothing happens. Well, how did they do it? Yeah. <laughs> so the car- 24? 24? I rolled very well. <clears throat> okay. Look at the job. This guy's got a plus 21. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the card disintegrates upon them. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even Let, see let's, it. Let's, let's go. And then I think the, they'll notice that there's a few more of you. As you, And now you've presented yourself mm-hmm. as this. Is this a made-up organization? Are you, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Better, well, better. actually, there was an adventuring crew, a band of adventurers, whom Lady Payne used. And they called themselves ladies. Adjustment Bureau. Well, there you go. <laughs> that, that's a great lab. adventuring. Yes. Name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the so the, the the fox will then kind of what was, uh, and start going sifting through pages. What? Uh, but uh, wait, are you Elminster? Most of the time, I regret to inform you. Yes. Hey, <laughs> lady's blessing be upon you. Yeah. Yes, I, <laughs> I thought it might. I hear, I hear the the orog muttering. I think it's a little nerfed to me. Yeah, Come along, come along. I'll buy me a drink first. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll stand behind him and, like you know, crack my knuckles or something. Yeah, yeah. The the, the fox will turn. We'll be back. Well, no, my 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 debts are paid. Right. He, he paid. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. The, the fated will be sending a representative. Okay, but can I keep like one of my kneecaps? Can we get that in writing? How much do, do they know? Approximately. <laughs> Not even my debts. Well, that's a long list. A Balor's heart. Mm-hmm. The arm of a Modron. What? Uh, what else we've got here? Oh, gosh. Three thousand. Silver pieces. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, one thousand gold pieces, and that's from three different realms combined okay. together. So, oh, sorry, I don't carry a Balor's it, heart in my bag. Uh, I, uh, uh, I, if I polymorph him into a Balor, could you carve his heart out? Oh, and yeah. that? Okay. All right. What else? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that. Please don't. Uh, yeah. uh, iron wood from the forests of Oerth. Uh, Okay, yeah, no problem. One. And three pounds of red steel. Oh. Three, three pounds. pounds of red That's steel. That's too many pounds. Could it be well, like... the lady has a well, stockpile vault of red what? steel. I happen to know. That way, you think she gets it? Uh, 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 anyway, uh, any, anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, hey, nice thing. So. Move along. So we'll kill them now or later? No, 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 no. I will no. help you. And it did. Well, that was. I think it made me like. Yeah, uh, and my like, right hand and my, my arm. Uh, okay. Very large individuals in crimson red armor with spikes protruding just kind of saunter over. Their problem here. Uh, no, 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 absolutely not harmonium, sir. No. Ah, uh, yes, we were just leaving. Ah, we're the uh, the harmonium. Yes. It's nice to meet you. I'm. I'm old. Keep your nose clean. A what? Keep your nose clean. I was hoping uh, someone was going to mention it. Kind of okay. embarrassing, but yeah. <laughs> well, to say, here's, little, here's a little, here's a little, here's a little, here's a yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that better? You, you can keep yeah. it. <laughs> Watch out for piercers. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> a uh, a, a tiefling with a wild look in their eye. A, a bottle that is currently flaming up the top runs past and throws it into a window, and then turns and sees the harmonium. And the harmonium stare back at them. The tiefling stares at. Oh crap! And she just takes off as they're like, right. "Never see them again." That's when the Benny Hill theme starts playing. This is rather interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm assuming you are uh, known as Tripicus in some 
No, no, no. Oh, speech. Uh, I mean, I wish. <laughs> that, that's my uncle. Kind of a big deal. All those debts, definitely his. I, I don't have any debts. I don't uh, really. I see. Yeah. Oh, well then. And, and do, do I owe you now? What, do I, should I keep a record of that? Know. Like, you mentioned oh. uh, that maybe. Or <laughs> Eric's wants to be like. <laughs> Nick sounds is red steel. Wolves <laughs> 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 brain. Okay, no, no, no. You get squealed. You get squealed. You're missing 12 pages from the Joy of Cooking. We are we are here to search to actually speak to Tripicus, your uncle. Oh, they owe us a map. Okay, but are, he owe us a map. Yeah, a, map a map. A map. We're not owed us. So yes. Uh, yes, you owe us a map. One map, please. Oh, uh, I mean many maps. All the maps. Uh, any, 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 any map. Like I, I, I went through a map like a couple Atlas. weeks ago. Oh, that's a very specific map. Um. Well, and all all the maps of all the portals. Uh, in fact, wait, and yeah. all of the maps of all of the worlds beyond the portals. <laughs> every one. And yeah. every city in each of those worlds. We can pay you. How about Atlas? <laughs> uh, mm. We can pay you enough that you won't have to worry about any debts. I, that doesn't make any sense. I, debts follow you everywhere, you know? You break a couple doors and then somehow you owe over six ounces of red iron. <laughs> well, you could come with us through a door and not have to worry about a single step. Or again. But then you just have to worry about whichever world you ended up in. That's kind of how I got here. I mean, did you want to come in instead of just talking on my doorstep? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're generally safe. The light sure begins work. to come down as rain begins to fall. Yeah, right. I get right. up Thanks the high <laughs> Yeah, it's the rain smells like oil as it begins to pitter patter. Like it's like a yeah. muddy so ground. I want to try it out. Try what? A crossbow. Oh, I also have a crossbow. Mm -hmm. May I figure out who you yeah. all are? Uh, well, the crossbow... <laughs> the crossbow twin comparers oh. should probably introduce themselves. Oh, hey. Uh, Baron Merrick's to Kenneth. Uh, <laughs> you know, you can call me Baron. Baron, okay. Get yeah, it, Baron. Are you Baron related? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's where... I mean, we've got Whoa. that going for it. So. Oh! You, okay, what's tell me about your lineage? What kind of family you got? Uh, well, you know, I'm gonna drop like probably five minutes of okay. I'm ready. So, if you go back to the, the eighth century, mm -hmm. uh, the Vohm family, and you know, oh. and at some point we're gonna say, Where'd the actual bears come in? I'm so <laughs> bear running. He's doing that out of the window, still, and just perch myself and just look out the street to make sure, yeah, nobody comes back. Like, can it hold a fair? Uh, but, uh, but really, actually, should introduce. Yes. Uh, Elise. Yes, just Elise. Just Elise. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. I have not met a fair. What about your ally? Baron. Yeah. Oh, Baron. Same, yeah. Yeah. same difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, hold you watch as uh, when I see a, bear. a dwarf goes by. <laughs> Bring out your dead. Merrick's doesn't look very Bring good. Bring out. No, no not good. Yeah. 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 Or Shadow Dale. Yeah. Look at the display. It's just weird as hand shape. Bear yeah. hand? Yeah. Well, you see it, so you don't have to actually touch. You just do this past each other. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, it's mind the bear talents. I do <laughs> feel like just because I have it, I do have to do a little <clears throat> turn and do a little disguise action just to just to be Merrix as a bear. Yes. Like, you know, not trying to fully so, like disguise myself as someone else, but just like if Merrix was a bear, bear, what do you do? You know, add a little very little bear on bear and Merrix. You know, just to to you bear, know, bear, yeah, bear. Yeah. Barracks to Claw. Baron Barracks to Claw. I like that. That feels much better. Oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah, so, uh, at least. so, okay, there's two more of you. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Milf. But, uh, will you collect my debts? Your... Oh, okay. Yes, yes. You the one. You were cracking your knuckles. Are you the debt collector? Uh, I'm actually a fairly slight looking open fellow wearing chainmail and carrying a spear, long silver hair, lavender eyes. Uh, but Incredibly, incredibly well muscled. Uh, uh, <laughs> tiny, muscle. tiny, tiny, but like, yeah, he's definitely, tiny definitely very, very, yeah. very, very strong, oh, okay. rip, very strong. Okay. Rip, right? okay. that's, why, that's why he missed. <laughs> you missed his hand. Yeah. He's, yeah. His AC is so high. Did you just can't even do that. catch. Did, yeah, very, 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 very just, difficult. Just to make sure the hand. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah, the ground shakes a little bit as a huge construct with a big sol uh, single um, fleshy eye kind of just looks around as it trudges. Around it moves past. Oh, do you need and a muffin arm? Uh, uh... A large, uh, huge 
terrifying creature with tiny little bat wings and a massive jaw lined with teeth and two beady eyes wielding a cart of sausages just comes on over to you, Lil Holt. Sausage. Uh, through the window, basically? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. Oh, is that the sausage dealer? Oh. Um, <laughs> like, can we get four? You don't yeah. want one. It's like one, and three, four. Yeah. Uh, more. I'll take one. That'll be 20 copper. Yeah. Does anybody think you think I, I owe you 20 Thank copper? You, sir. One more map. One more map. One just more map. Okay. Reaches in. Like sinew and, and, and slime. Mm-hmm. Just... <laughs> there you are. Perfect. Great right on time. Is there another window? Yeah. I'll move over to that one and take perch there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so relaxing the my speech of all. Excellent to meet you. You are the, the eyes of the operation? No, um, the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I mean, seriously, look at that charisma. You can feel the you know, modifier leaking a, out there. I, I, the others who have maybe not seen you before, but I, my world has a sign living quite... What, what? Harmoniously. Wait, where are you from? With the Mario? You, 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 did you just make that up? No, Mario is my world. I, like, for real? I was brought here by accident, yeah. Wait, how? 20 years ago? No, like now. Uh, oh, maybe 20 minutes wait, ago. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> That's been a little longer than that. Are you welcome you come Mario? Were you here 20 years ago? Oh, I've been here for 20 years. It's been a while. And you come and you go, but did, mostly... Did we do this? Is this our fault? So, yeah. Do you have anything to do with, like, the lunar... Business. <laughs> I mean, they define should you. So, what all like really? Shifts of Did we save the world? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We actually did. Yes. You've been married here for 20 years. I, you sound parallel I mean, like those idiots back at the. Report. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> the flat energy club. Uh, yeah. That these were all good people in uh, like this. Something like 20 years. But I don't actually out. know the story, honestly. I wasn't there. But I saved the world, but apparently it went to shit after we left. You were, you've been in Amaria as well? Uh, only briefly. I mean, dropped in, you know, see the kid and stuff, mm-hmm. and saved the world a couple yeah, times. Couple was times. it two times? I think it was two times. <laughs> two times. So things are well? Like every- no. Oh, I've been None back. Our worlds are well. Yeah. Oh. The veil has opened again. Dreadful people wearing numbers carrying these green swords. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's concerning. Yeah. Yeah, definitely concerning. Yes. It appears that the worlds that they have come from as well are also in peril. But hey, if you want to uh, be in on the world saving this time, uh, we're going to go through a portal. And you're gonna Not get fine it. if you want to come over. Uh, Great. You really think you're going to invite someone to Ravenloft? <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. It's not my home. It's real creepy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do have... I like long walks in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are, are they... Oh, it's a hallmark. <laughs> they don't... Oh, I can fuck like you most of the time. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I when the you had me on air, I don't really need anything else. <laughs> they dance in tutus and balance on balls. <laughs> I mean, that's a hobby. Somebody oh, do it. in some parts, yeah. That's true. I don't know there very often, but that's true. <laughs> I, I would I would love to be part oh, we should go there. If you could help us with the map. Oh, yes. We oh. to take you with us, especially if you've been trapped here for so long. At least 20 years. I'm not really sure what that means here, but I don't even know if my family is still alive. Well, let's find out. Yeah, okay, m- maps first. Um, yeah, sure. Athos. Athos. Where the heck do I find? Thirteen. So, uh, heading into uh, your uncle's study. There, everything is very well detailed and labeled. Mm. Um, and yes, moving, mo- moving as yeah, moving aside the massive pile of their authored books that haven't sold, uh, you you make sure <laughs> it's the cabinet. Dusty now, try. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, labeled uh, various different world names. Um, you make your way down the uh, oh my god, there's so much. They make your way. You make your way down the cabinets. Uh, say that. Uh, Oral Earth Crin Athos. There you are. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is the one. Are you ready? Who do I who yeah. would like uh, how do we do this? To unravel the <clears throat> I was just thinking, didn't there was a few Matt, do you think we might wanna secure these other ones just so we don't have to come yes, back? No, yeah, yeah, that yeah. might be a way to get out. Well, us all of the maps. Could yes. we um don't want to get in trouble? Um my uncle might dis disown me. Uh, How's he gonna find you? 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. What if we, we, on a little piece of paper, we write out the name of whoever signed out the books? Okay. Okay. Fair. And then we'll, we'll stamp it with the date. Mm -hmm. um, Fair. And we'll leave that for my uncle so he knows. It's just taken out, you know? So can come back. <laughs> You're the same boat I am. We're thinking about, like, what's more intimidating? Elminster or Saturday? <laughs> 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 or just Paul Holden. I was going to write an enemy's name down. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, so, don't mess with Scott Bunzadovich. <laughs> we don't say that name. <laughs> Well, Ouch. You don't even know. Do you know? Oh no, you do not. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant. Ouchie, ouchie. Maybe a touch. Um. <laughs> who's the head of the harmonium? Oh, uh, Baron uh, Baron uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Um. Oh, let's put um. Doctor Doofus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a legitimate. We're doing this on behalf of the. Yes. Actually, you're right. Doctor What's the name of that organization? The Planar yeah, the, uh, Plan Energy Cooperative. Yes. Cooperative. Yeah. On behalf of the Planar Energy. Planar Planar Energy Planar Cooperative. Energy Cooperative. Uh -huh. And his name began with B. Yes. Doctor. No, 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 you, you want Doctor Gordon? Gordon. You want to yeah. with Gordon? Doctor Gordon Doofus. No, 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 no. Because if you add the word doofus, they will know that tells us that tells them exactly who did it. Yeah. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> I think that's legitimate. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to come back here. Fine to say. I have to what say. are they going to do? We're doing this for them. <laughs> this makes me feel a lot better because as a business person, I didn't particularly like I'm like our arrangement was not worth all these maps. But as long as the planar energy consortium is on the hook for this, that's the right, but yeah. they should be paying for Yes, this. we're we're, we're helping them. I drop yep. a contract. Sure, I can actually yeah. help you with that. I have a boilerplate <laughs> right here. Okay. Um and a contract. Just add yeah. it in. <laughs> oh, what's the name of the business? Uh, Crypticus. Yeah. Uh, Crypticus for the consortium. Uh sign on behalf of there you go. Oh, okay. Um I'm going to sign my uncle. Let me just look at the book. Sure. Uh, Do you need to sign Poppy? <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. I'm, I, That's I, not I, a crime. If, if you're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can I'm very good at Yeah, no, he can... He can he can uh, um, sign for oh, both we're Dr. Doofus and for the society. I mean, that's true. I can yeah. Oh, okay. Are you like uh, uh, I got a yeah, yeah, so, I mean, technically... He'll sign for both sides. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, they, no, they, call, they call it a note. <laughs> He's no, 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 no. You make the notes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I gotta see what I got because... I'll miss her at the notary. <laughs> Everybody, level 20. I am the witness. Heroes of the world. <laughs> They're behaving like level 3. <laughs> Hey, hey now. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, are you still at the window, Loholt? Oh, yeah. Uh, a little red figure about the size of a, of a child with two little wings and two tiny horns wearing a very cheap suit. Just kind of so. I'm going to take contract. I smell I, contract. Let's do this. I'll shove the sausage in its <laughs> All right. All right. I rolled a 40 on a check. What? Okay. So I mean, I'm you just saying. Are. I I I was scanning the room with my sensory stone before. So there I mean, are like I got a glimpse there are of maps hand right. of multiple different worlds. You see uh, various uh, maps of like Flaness, and you see maps of Faerun. Uh, there's like 30 maps of the Sword Coast in various <laughs> different states, and like one of the rest of the world. There it is. Shout out! You don't need a map of the. Faroon, do you? I don't need a map of Faroon, but what if something happened to me? Just take them all. Yeah, there, I there's uh, I need a map. There's, okay, there's, well, there's, I got a there's maps here. of different parts of Athens and the Tablelands. There's maps of a continent called Cerulea on the world of Abrinus. There's uh, oh, the known world of the yeah, Star Rod. Oh, there's, there's, there's um, uh, Mario. Like, like, okay, while you're taking all the maps, I will, on the contract, I'll take a candle out of my And uh, there's some very nice maps of uh, Corp. Like wax seal well, yeah. to make it look, you know. It's official. And uh, yeah. as well as um, uh, uh, the worlds of Kryn. Um, oh, I've heard. A couple yeah, of I've heard around that, there like, as well. Nice, uh, yeah, I've heard some nice. Specifically nice the continent of Ancelon. I'm feeling a little bit left out. Is there no Marian maps? Oh. Not in Tripicus's, uh do you need um, no we don't need your that. own just port? curious as to it really is is off the beaten path yeah you know 20 years is a long time to go back home it's hard to map make when can't get home it's a bit of a backwater world but what but but what <laughs> since who 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no, er- I never heard that. No, Ursa? Er- er- that doesn't even sound okay. real. Or- that I've heard of. <laughs> I don't have a map of that one. It's not under you. Earth? Oh, Earth. Oh. Oh, 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 Earth. Oh, Earth. Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, now I'm gonna put it on. There is an Earth Burn. with a U, but it's much less popular. Mm. Okay, okay, but no map of Amoria. No, it's fine. We got what we need. All right, that's a lot of maps. Yeah. Um, well, uh, let's 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 Athos. Let's get the Athos out of here. <laughs> uh, we're on the road to ruin, people. So, uh, Fell. It's true. You would you would ask so uh, you would ask Fell for the location to one of the portals. Uh, you specifically mm-hmm. asked about the one that went to the desert area that yes. you have no name for. Yes. Yes. I've been across. Like they, they can't really give you a designation for a desert area you have no name for. Oh. Now that good. you have a map. Oh. There you, you can go. discern the name of the location I and then let you find the Okay. I will look at the map. map of, so according to your reading, uh, the portal, the, 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 the portal, the, the closest portal that you could find that would take you to where you need to go seems to come out around Silver Spring in the Tablelands. That means nothing to you, obviously, but yeah. That's why I'm making this space at you. Yeah. The table, please. <laughs> Nobody's, nobody's been? No, I've never been there before. Have you ever been there? No. I, I got lost. I, I mean, I was map making. Kind of. Oh, you've been there. A map maker who gets lost. Mm-hmm. You gotta get lost to make the map, and then you can kind of find your way once it's complete. Oh, that makes it. perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in to get out. Yeah, mm-hmm. What would we expect from this? Quite what would we expect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, there's there's the, the basic stuff. I mean, it's a desert. Yeah. Uh, sand, sun, yeah, lizards, snakes. Oh, poodles. Yeah, fun. Wait, it's it's desert on this side. No, no, no. We're talking about Athos. Yeah. Oh no, we know. No, it, oh, oh, okay. You're, are you asking about Silver Spring? I misread there. I thought I said yeah, you were, we were going to oh, find the Silver Spring. <laughs> <laughs> like no, no, it's definitely yeah. yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's made pretty clear. I, I, you, you wouldn't know. I don't think any specifics about it, but you would know it's an oasis. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, not so cake. There is fun in the sun. Uh, I, but if I you want, these give, me a, give me a way. history check. Yeah. And you can have an advantage because this is about a, this is about a material world, which is. Oh, um, that's gonna be twenty-one. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it is an oasis. Uh, it's sort of a stop between the two main cities of Tyr and Uruk. Um, and it uh, it's kind of one of the only small safe spots in the Tablelands uh, because every single square mile around it is surrounded by bandits. Those bandits will do more than break your cap. Mm. Two of them very famous uh, roving bands. Unfortunately, you've forgotten their names. Uh, but they're definitely... You gotta watch out for the roving bands and bandits. Mm. They will... I mean, they're not into the kneecap business, but it's the elbow business. Well, we are so, settled. So, they kind of come down a little bit. Rovers. Yeah, we're bandits. Yeah. They got that bandits on, on Athos hungry. tend to look for two things that they're trying to get out of people. What's that? Uh, steel. Yep. Water. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, yeah. maybe. It turns out blood has a lot of water in it. Mm-hmm. No, that tracks. I drink. That, yeah. yeah. That's mm-hmm. nothing. It's for me. I can't be weirded about that. It's not worth for me. Well, I'm going to be a beacon. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> yeah. well, that, but that's fine. The, the away so you'll be fine. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're going to be. <laughs> I just to ask, by the way, umbrella. just checking. I mean, we've been so swept up in saving the world and finding a map and taxes. How's the old ticker doing? Um. It needs some work. We'll talk later. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. I mean, we haven't really caught up since uh, since we Better got here. Since you... Yeah. Okay. Well. Good. 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 Just just making sure you're on. Uh, Lohol, you're that, still by the window. Is that not a condition? Still by the window. <laughs> uh, you... Great, you do it. No, that's not doofus. Doofus. <laughs> <laughs> whisper too loud. I can hear you. <laughs> uh, All right. Loho, you're you're feeling a little bit of uh of an itch run up your skin. You're just kind of like divine sense. <laughs> Oh, it did everything everywhere. There's like Faye over there. There's be like fiends over there. Celestials in the sky. Okay. I will 
uh, something an itch up my skin. Is it yep. like alertness itch? No, it's just an itch. We're still on. Is it right? like the bunnies in your tattoo? Like mm, it could be bunnies on my tattoo going? Maybe they're, they're uh, just, just saying those bunnies have got maybe, it. Maybe they're making, but maybe, maybe they're. Yeah, yeah, you should check. What if you're allergic? You should check to see if there's more. Your tattoos? Yeah. Could your tattoo spreading? It doesn't appear to be. Just an itch. Yeah, it's gone away. Do the do the images on the tattoo move or no? They just like just like glow to them. Okay. All right. Wait. Maybe. Maybe if it's radiant energy, it's rejecting you in some way. Maybe you have an allergy to radiant. Let's make an investigation outside or on the windowsill itself. Uh huh. Exact five. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you get itchy sometimes. All right. I won't make any of it. You probably need some lotion. Yeah. A little bit of a zima. Right yeah. Wearing that armor has got to really. Yeah. That's good. I, I don't leave mine on all the time, you know. That's you shouldn't sleep with it. Yeah. yeah. You'll get yeah, armor shaping. That's not good. <gasps> Although, okay. I suppose if we're gonna go to Doom World filled with bandits, I will put the armor on. Uh, also, we get the water. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, let's let's got a water vendor around here or found like some some skin, some old school water. Skin. I I would imagine you probably just have yeah, water here, or some boards or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't worry, we're not going to be there very long. There you go. All right. Just it's in the, case, so I'm a... the object in question. Yeah. I just show like off. I show. I show off my belt <laughs> around the waist there, and then my suspenders. And I'm like, bring them anyway. Actually, I gotta say, I also initially am like, oh, where do we get some water? Mm-hmm. And then we've got the skin, and I'm like, oh wait, pull out the jug and start <laughs> filming because I mean, I've got the water. Is like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so just to we'll, we'll, we'll water sack up and. Do we know where to go to the floor? Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can watch it here. you can return back to Fell and he'll just give you. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, do we move really out wait, wait, here? Or... Wait, we cannot go through the portal until we go talk to Doofus and get our, our sigil back to the. Oh, wait! Right? I am very. I almost got us on that one. Nice. I was getting excited. I'm, like, I'm not even taking notes. <laughs> Nice. I, this one. No. I totally forgot all about yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I didn't even know about that. That's how much I paid. That's like a, we have to like a crazy call or something. Or something I know that you're here, I what you need to do. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, did you want to go back to Fell to get the location at least? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, we yeah, do that. Okay. We'll... So, going back to Fell, he uh, greets you once again and immediately has a picture of Loholt getting a tattoo with a question mark. Not this time, my friend. We still have to make our way to Athens and put the tattoos to use. The mist fades away and it shows a, a dark sun rising on a desert horizon plus map question mark. Well, we have the map. It's, uh, it's Maple. I've got all the maps. They are a friend of ours. Bags and maps. Yes. And maps and bags. And the yep. name of the... The image of Maple getting a tattoo arises with a question mark. Oh, I got shaved. That's... You mean next time? Yeah. 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 Thanks. Ah, uh, so you point out silver. You point out like the area. He's like, "This is where it is." Um, so then Fell points at Silver Springs, and mist begins to form a route as you see uh, a building which none of you recognize, but you would know, being here for twenty years, as uh, Green Gauge. It's a cider shop in uh, the. Uh, Very funny. Sounds great. In the clerk's ward. And uh, you see a bough of apple trees forming an archway, and then it is set on fire. Oh! And then you see an image of you guys walking through it and vanishing away, and then it fades away. Do we light it on fire? Okay. Hold on. That's like against it. I don't light trees on fire. Perhaps it's a magical one. Okay. Okay. I get. There's some significance, I'm sure. Oh, the apples. I mean, presumably. People use this more than once. Like it, it's not going to just burn the town down or something. I mean, we'll see. But uh, but we got a doctor just to activate it. We got right. to. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> doctor to check up on it. Probably like yeah. a, a doctor of fire. It's like a loser. No, no, just the doctor of. No, the doctor of doof. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, he is this, uh, apparently he is named Vita. Gordon Doof? Gordon Doof, <laughs> yes. God. And this Doof is a doctor? Yes, he is. He's a doctor of Us. screwing things up. Yeah, he did say it was likely going to take them about a day until like until tomorrow to get you the, the sigil. That's so. Okay, so, so I think we're stopping at the note. We're going to the gas room. Yes, what well, do we do? Them. Do we do gastronome or do we do the fry hole or whatever? There was there was the grease pit. Grease pit, yeah, the grease pit which, which the grease is closer. Which, grease pit is closer. You've probably been oh, there a couple of times. Don't be talking about right. So good. All right, I'm for the grease pit. Uh, grease pit works. Grease pit. All right. Like the experience, like grease pit. Um, yes, that's right. Are you Let's walking there? Yes, before I drink a desert. <laughs> <laughs> How far is it? The grease pit in the bad part. You are there now. It is. Yes. I mean. We'll be fine. It's we got a bear with you know, us. Yeah. We got two bears. Yes, we will be great. How much combat do you want to waste our time? <laughs> great. Yeah. Don't you want to go to the bazaar? Oh, I want to go to the bazaar. And the other oh, place. The gastronome is by the bazaar. By the bazaar. Yeah, yeah, it is. fine. We go to the gastronome. <clears throat> I mean, the grease pit is really good. I don't and care. I'm not going to eat at either place. But oh, yeah. okay. I mean, you can go into the literal. I would eat at both places, then. <laughs> Not appealing for a little guy. Yeah, you've got a big appetite. I'm just gonna say. I will watch everybody else. Okay, um, so I assume you're gonna grab another carriage to get there rather than walk. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Sure. Is sure. that guy still eat. hanging around? But, oh yeah, you can get. Yeah, this guy gave you so much gold. Yeah, he's never. As soon, yeah, as soon as, as soon as like Merrick's like raises his hands, like face fist. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You need another ride. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Here's I, three gold. This I did. Time. I did sit. Oh, that I is, figured uh, you don't need uh, the tourism thing anymore. Yeah, you know, we from really point don't. A point point yeah, yeah. You hired this guy? Yeah, it's a gigantic <laughs> ogre whose face looks like it's been punched a few times. He gives you a yeah. very yeah, smooth ride. If by smooth you mean bouncy. Yeah, yeah. Well, but his name is Face Fist. That's right. <laughs> That's my okay. name. I got that name by putting my my my, my fist in faces, and I've also mastered the ancient uh, martial technique of face fist, which is when I throw my face into their fist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pay money for that one. <laughs> All right, just see it. <laughs> if we do make it to the bazaar without great incident, uh, I'm I'm interested in web. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm I'm looking for the toughest leather, you know, not too much, just a, the toughest leather I can find. All right, well, I'll put I'll give you there in, uh, in the chiffy. All right. <laughs> I'll walk next to it. <laughs> I'm not going to get in my carrots. <laughs> and we see okay. Rob Helford outside of the vending place. <laughs> so the, the ogre just lifts and <laughs> starts making his way down. The whole thing just and then kind of smooth itself out as you reach the clerk. The, the clerk's work. Episode three. <laughs> Merrick shows up in chaps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolute chaps. Get the leather you want. Well, I mean, if we can get dragon hide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you got to talk to dragon. <laughs> dragon hide. Yeah. 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 I am not a team at the mini. It's going to, you know, we're going to yeah. <laughs> talk to <laughs> you. We're going to talk to you. We're going to talk to but he's opened the window so we can it's good thing you got lots of drinks sir you're weird <laughs> Good point. <laughs> a little faster, please. Pick up the pace. Uh, Going to the bazaar. Yeah, they weave their way back through the the various halls, and uh, and Mark Clerk's ward bring you back to the market's ward and uh, around to where the great bazaar is. The noise and the smell is, but they're both very loud. Just put it that way. <laughs> loud smells. Mm. Mm. Well, I mean, especially I'm looking for a tanner, you know, that's gonna oh, yeah. be terrible. Oh, Mr. Autograph! Get your up! Oh, jeez! 
<laughs> Again? Or is it another no, it's same guy? Thing. Oh, it's the same guy. See, I was assuming it's the whole thing. Do they have action figures? <laughs> yeah. Why, yes. I totally yes, want, they do. I, mean, I totally want a Shadow Dale. Does that degrade? Does that degrade? Oh, okay. Does that degrade? Okay. Me too. Oh, that's a water. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, look, look. I've seen what look. people can do. I'm going to have to franchise this. <laughs> yeah. We can't just have one more overworked guy. <laughs> it's a little bit of adventure. Yeah. <laughs> We're, We're, very, empire. We're a very business oriented team. Yeah, you got the yeah, yeah. contract writer. Potions. Get your potions here. And you see a, a stall with P O S H U N S. Entered bonafide potions. Discount sale. Potions. They're, um, awesomes. they're often a mistake. Yes. <laughs> Not all the time, but often. Mm. A discount. It's a little hard to say no to a discount. <laughs> all right, well, I have a quest. Some hides, right. please. All right. Uh, so you meander your way through the Great Bazaar, kind of constantly waving away all the various hawkers and gawkers that are just meandering, uh, uh, making their way through. Uh, uh, I've actually just got also, you know, cast sanctuary just as a leave me. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you get it done. It's got a couple Harmonian guards kind of look over at you as you do that, and then they just get back to their business. What kind of things do we see as we? Uh, everything. Uh, and then some. You see, uh, there's a beholder selling bona fide beholder eyes in a jar. Uh, a beholder got, is selling. Oh yeah. Eyes. You got a, a you got a mind flare who's like, get your parasites here. Get your parasites. Tired of living? Want to have a new purpose in life? Get your parasites. Maybe it needs some better armor. Mm-hmm. How much for the parasite? I don't think you can get some here. Uh, anything that'll be uh, a little book, yeah. You know, two brains. Uh, if we pass through Eberron, uh, it's uh, they're trying to well, get more out of you, but normally just out. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll get out. Us. All right, I'll come back when I have some brains. I'll have a there, uh, What do I see around that will um? Make me feel like it would give me better protection. What are you wearing? I'm wearing <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, no, I'm wearing a uh, scale. And I'm oh yeah, I mean if you want to get like anything higher oh, than man. that, breastplate, uh, half plate, plate. <laughs> what about something more magical so I don't have to, you know? Yeah, you can certainly take a look. I have to go behind like curtains. <laughs> Really get that match. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I got drained the party's quota for buying things for me, so I'll just. Uh, you do fi- so. You find a uh, uh, you, you both you and Merrick's weaving your way. You're kind of looking for similar type things. Are we? Um, well, I'm looking for essentially armor. You know, yeah, yeah. Not looking uh, for uh, no, we're we're I'm, I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the raw materials. You're looking for the they make horror version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you, I get, you get the uh, you, you get the attention of a human who is dressed in various hides and and uh, furs and oh hey can I interest you in uh, various things made uh, uh, completely. Uh, homemade armor pieces. Here we've got the uh, the breastplate made from Ankhag carapace, and we've got a cloak made with the feathers of angels, and a shield with the horns of a gorgon. Wow. What do I Whoa, mm, see that I think would be the best gorgon. thing to I mean, not protect me? Same for gorgon, but it's a shield. I'm yeah, yeah. Skin. Yeah. Gorgon hide. I mean, you want so some medium that. armor? Is that true? Uh, you want well, magical? I, wear, I mean, I can wear heavy armor. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, is that what you, you, you want? Even if I you want to make magical, what are you looking for? Yeah, not just the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want something that's going to... I'm not trying to, like, talk out of character here, but I want something that's going to boost up my... Uh, Beautiful 16 AC. And that's with Something. a shield. With a shield. Oh, with, with a shield? Yeah. Listen, I did other things. That well, were I Are you looking for full plate or half plate? Like, what because would you do? I dexterity? take advantage of my 20 levels of experience and get a bunch of magical stuff. Mm-hmm. What's that? Also, I come from a place where I wouldn't have it. Yeah, would. yeah, yeah. You could get a uh, suit of full plate mail. And you could get it made out of any material you like. Don't get your ACF to 20. Well, we were ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty percent better. better. Magical better. Magical better. Well, if you want, you can have this uh, this little uh, amulet, and you put it on, and it just gives you armor. Oh, I like that. Oh, very good. How much armor? How much armor do you want? I got different kinds. 
all of it. <laughs> How many drops take all of the armor? Yeah, yeah, all of the armor. Oh, okay. 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 Let's see here. Okay. Area. There you go. That no? is going to be. Uh, you can't Open afford sheet. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can't afford that. I don't think it doesn't look like you can afford that. You, you, you what just it? told a lady she couldn't afford some. You know, no. That's a very short life expectancy. <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I got many customers who come here all the time. <laughs> if, if you want something that will keep you uh, guarded against something specific, I might be able to, uh, to, to do something about that. I, I, got, I got lots of suppliers. Uh, from around the plains, and if uh, if you're no, if, tell me what this one is. If you're you looking said. for special weapons that are used to, to fight fiends, for example, I know a line of a guy. I want the amulet you just spoke of. Oh, very good. Well, I've got more... this one, which is uh, about equivalent to uh, boiled leather with some uh, some some metal studs put in it. And I got I got this one, which is around uh, what you might expect. Uh, you know, a nice breastplate to be, and then I've got this one, which is equivalent to a plate mail, but, uh, boy, uh, it's expensive. I, I definitely, uh, oh, you're going higher than that. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Jax is like, oh, back. God. Go to the back. Bring it out. I got, I got, uh, we'll see here. Uh, yeah, it pulls out, like, a giant adamantine case. It's just around. Puts one key in. Mm -hmm. Another key in. <clears throat> another key in, and then... Oh, uh, another key. Mm -hmm. Opens them up. Oh, this right Oh, this looks nice. Yeah. You, you want it then? What is it? Adamantine plate? It, it is. It is an amulet that functions similarly to uh, like plus two plate mail, actually. Okay. Wow. So how much? Uh, it'll be a hundred thousand. Uh, Material plane gold pieces, but I do accept other forms of payment. Do you now? Is that what other forms of payment? Uh, soul coins are always quite valuable. Mm -hmm. I can take them to the trading bar mm -hmm. bargains down in Hades. <laughs> uh, but I also do accept uh, various other things like uh, certain types of favors, uh, certain types of uh, uh, other type of other currencies that I can use in other places. Like Trade Gates got them. Uh, them special mints that they've been making. The uh, a couple of those would be would be good. Uh, also, I hear some material worlds are switching to some kind of paper currency. I'm not sure that's going to work, but uh, you know, that, that apparently that's got some value to it. <laughs> um, as I'm speaking to you, I've uh -huh. been speaking to you for about a minute. Uh huh. Um, so I know your enemy. Uh huh. So I would like to know, um, as I'm observing you, interacting with you, uh, basically your strength score, your, your dexterity score, your constitution, your your AC, your okay. current hit points, all of that. Uh, just like the entire stat block, essentially. <laughs> basically, I mean, it literally says that I can have this. Also, um, if you have any fighter class levels, what they are. Okay, well, AC of 17. Okay. Uh, hit points? Hit points? 195. Why is everybody here so strong? Uh, welcome to Sigil. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Strength? Yeah. Is that, yeah, uh, 14. Dexterity? Mm -hmm. 18. Wisdom? Uh, 18. <laughs> what species does this person appear to be? Human. Mm -hmm. 194 hit points. Woo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's his name? What kind of hairstyle do they have? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, they got like a bandana that has black hair pulled back into a ponytail that comes down the side. They got a very long salt and pepper beard that comes down with uh, you know kind of a mustache that falls into it, and some wicked sideburns. Ooh, does it go like right down into the lock? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. the it. whole the whole face, very lion like. I like it. Okay, okay. So. A bit of a crooked nose and yeah, a gold tooth. You see that a lot here. <laughs> Uh, do you want what it the, or do you want it or not? Uh, I have some paper money. You got that paper money from, uh, I forget where. From a very, very remote, special, rare place that I have heard of. Oh, yeah? Mm. Hey, where's she? Where, 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 this where are you was talking? given to me because I sold a very rare item. Rarer than this. I find that hard to believe. You won't believe the things I had to do to get it. No, do, do. How rare is <laughs> How rare is this item? Like so, like out of like Elisa. Uh, would you know? I don't. Uh, 
You just ask. Okay. Well, it, uh, he looks both ways. Old guy got this from one of the private vaults of Mephistopheles. Mm. Second, <laughs> second, <laughs> second <laughs> devil. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're gonna be robbing devils, um, <laughs> <laughs> go mammon or you're wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> I have nights. I have a paper buddy. Nah. From a currency from another plane of existence. Uh huh. A place with a very strong currency right now. Uh huh. <laughs> and I have 100,000 US dollars from a place Whoa. called Earth. <laughs> Wait, is this Earth? No, this is Earth. Uh, is this big money? I, I sent better the bills. I feel I feel deception is 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 you got it. worth here. I yeah. Believe it. Yeah. <laughs> that looks legit. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> <laughs> this won't this won't make an enemy. Uh, not at all. <laughs> if you want, we can uh, trade other like favors too, like you said. Oh, well, 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 no. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 have a brilliant, I have a brilliant idea. A flash of genius? A flash of genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I would just like to add a couple comments about, oh, wait, this uh, it's not a word, it's Earth you're talking about. Earth? I've heard great things about it. I was Elnistry just studying the planar, yeah. the planar, uh, yeah. so I'll, I'll give you a plus seven. Plus seven? Oh, yeah. that, that would be... You know, it's funny. He actually has. <laughs> I know, you were telling me yeah. on our way here when we were talking about Earth and Earth, you didn't hear the conversation, <laughs> but he did, yeah, but he told me, that he's been to the other, the third Earth. Yeah, right. Uh, O-E-R-N-T-H, oh, the yeah, they they got 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 minus one deception. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, yes, this is true. <laughs> Twenty-six. Oh, no. <laughs> they would you not like to about this. <laughs> and, oh no. A psychic reading for you. Really oh, good. I don't. I don't think I'll need that. It just uh, seems a little. I mean, is there romance in your future? I don't really care. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. oh, 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 I think you do care. Well, listen, I'm all for, uh, for favors and things like that. I, I do like to collect favors. Uh, so, tell you what. I'll, uh, this weird currency you've got here. Let me see. This is rare. You yeah, could yeah, no, sell I, this. It seems, it seems legit. Funny. Look, listen. Yeah. Uh, we can make the trade now, and I'll take that. To the bank of Abathor later, and I'll get the Modrons there to go and check this currency alongside the uh, multiversal exchange rate. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll see because uh, you know I've been uh, I've been uh, a lot of people have been trying to throw fancy currencies at me. This one guy was like, oh, "Well, you don't take crypto, what are you?" So I sent him into a soul jab. Anyway, uh, <laughs> tell you what, you just and he snaps his fingers, and in a burst of crimson black fire, a big uh, list of con uh, of of, of um, names on a piece of parchment. Just kind of floats into midair. He's like, right, you put your name right there. No. Okay. Um, Doctor. 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 You set a precedence for this, though. Like it only makes sense. I appreciate that when we come back from Athos, the entire planar energy's conclave is going to be either in jail or raised. Do they want to see their their world or not? Doctor, I cited Doctor Gordon Dufus. Uh, interesting name. <laughs> Thank you. It's a family name. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're very attached to it. <laughs> yep. Uh, can you please give me a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> a wisdom set. Me? Uh, yes. No. Oh, I can. You're right there, right? I'm I'm very wise actually. I'm not right. Right, right next to you. No. You're in the cart for the carrier. No, you're either no, waiting or you're in the market. Uh, well, right. I, We're all at the market. I, I, didn't them. I didn't go. No. Oh my thing. god. We're about spending too much. Money. Fine. Um, I'm I I got this. Okay. Nineteen. You do. You feel an intrusion on your thoughts. Oh. Okay. And he just kind of looks at you for a moment. I'll smile and like, you can just ask me. What do you Man, my line of work, I gotta be careful. Just ask. I'll tell you, I'm an open book. Listen. 
heard a lot of people try to put fast ones over me. Mm-hmm. It's a signal. A lot of strange people here that like to do strange things. Mm-hmm. I can't really read you. I don't know if you're from one of them lawful planes, one of them good planes, one of them material world. No. It, 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 None it, of the above. Right. So <laughs> you got to see. That's why I'm a little hesitant to just trust what you tell me. So uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, you have my my money already, and you agreed. I, to I, yeah, I have your money. Yeah. And you said you'd give me the thing. I've signed your contract. Uh, if you don't now honor that contract that we signed and you took my currency, then I'm going to have to make all right, call look, upon the authorities. Yes. I like I'm you. Your cards. I like you. You seem fine. I am. This thing needs to go to a good home. This is a good home. But I'll tell you something right now. I find out you done duped me. You'll wish you never came to this place. I already do. What's <laughs> 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 your name? Just a good uh, per- person? Malakathash. A lovely name. I just want to make sure we remember that. Just we are Malakathash. 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 Yes. That sounds familiar. What language do you speak? Um, I, I speak common Elvish and Bistani. Okay. Like then it's right. not, you don't know what it means. You just, mm-hmm. Yeah. It just sounds. A bezel? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 look. Yeah, I, to, uh, I, see. Yeah. Uh, I hate to follow up on. Did, did you, did he give her the? Yeah, yeah, she is. I, I don't, I mean, you know. Keeping things simple, just pulling out like a bag of actual gold, like just simple exchange here. I'm not trying to bargain things, but what is the toughest hide you have? Well, the toughest hide? Which is raw materials here. Oh, we could have this part. Divorce from the <laughs> loot. <laughs> kind of being good. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Already yeah. removed. Yes, yeah, already right. removed. That's yeah. a really important detail. That's a very important detail. Very important. <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean, I appreciate your on keg and all of that, but I can get on keg. Right. That's skinless. I, I've yeah. got Gorgons coming out my, you know, I schedule. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're looking for the top stuff. That's what I'm looking for. That uh, needs to be a lot of so it. So it, don't have Just, uh, I got Hellworm. All right, I'm interested. It's uh, one of the few creatures this hide can resist the waters of the river Styx. That sounds very interesting to me. But it's usually used for gloves when handling the substance, mm-hmm. but it can be repurposed into other things. All right. As I say, I'm just looking for a small amount for a project I'm working on. Uh, what's a small amount? We're talking a cubic centimeter? I would say a, a square, you know, a, a foot, piece. Square foot? Yeah. Oh, we can handle that. These things are massive. Uh, yeah. I think uh, about a thousand should cover that. Now well, there you go. Yeah, very good. Some business with you. Keep it straight. If nothing else, at least uh, you'll be spared if things go south. <laughs> well, I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate that. Who are these people that have done you wrong? Everyone. So I don't want to presume. There are many people here who do me wrong, but you know what? They tend to learn you do that once. Mm-hmm. That go once. well after that. Yeah. Well, yeah, these miles, his incisors are just a little longer than normal, and he's got two very similar ones yeah, on the underside of the That does not phase me at all. I'm just saying. And he retracts them back in again. Mm-hmm. Unless you're doing Re- I smile right. back, but my incisors are normal. Okay. Thank you very much. He kind of waves his hand, and an image of you appears, and he just places that. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thesh, do you have I... a business card we can take with us? A burst of flames. Oh. Well, there you are. Yeah, thank you. I'll be back. If you ever I... need anything, just give me a call. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to sort of the ongoing, continuous sort of, you know, Action. oh, he slides the little thing, and then you, like, pull out a card, and it's death, and then you, yeah. d- no, I mean, like, you so know, I how we can keep I upgrading the... the reading. Yeah, you did. I pray we don't meet again. Unless it's for business. That's rude. <laughs> right. I, I, always, I thought you liked me. <laughs> oh. Why well, you got good armor now? I do. Uh, I wonder how long that'll last. Um, I will have to put it in. So what, what does that give me? It gives me now from 20 what I got. base. Yep. What's so 22 with shields? Yep. Doesn't have decks. Uh, shield. Yep. Yeah, 22 with shield. That's right. That's a lot more than that, yeah. 
Yep, boink, boink. <laughs> And I'm gonna have that Helmworm cod piece I've been looking for. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna go there, but um, not big. Helmworm for your Helmworm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, after we walked away, we're like, when we get back to the what's it called, the machine? The worlds, probably. Yeah, the order. All right, so you would <laughs> turn back to the uh, carriage, I presume. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What a fun little soldier. Okay. <laughs> Shopping. Oh, Shopping. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm still hungry. hungry. Speaking of which, I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm to eat. Getting close. Getting close to eating. We well, need to get to the gastronome. Gastronome. Very Is simple. It a place it, where there are little gnomes. It's run by a gnome, yes. Ooh, one? Well, he's, he owns it. It's gastro G gnome. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, the gastronome, yes. Like an accent on so, the nose? It is a large metal building that is shaped like a giant olive. Uh, there is a, a little sort of side area where you could enter in, and then as you it, it, it come into the big eating area, there's this massive vaulted ceiling, as you are right now, inside of the olive itself. Uh, you see several people of all different stripes. You've got, uh, you know, uh, there's... there's um, Zebras, tigers. Well, yeah, basically, yeah, essentially. You, you've got... Uh, you got a weird, like, insectoid, fiendish-looking individual who is uh, currently diving into uh, what appears to be a giant bowl full of writhing bugs with uh, shadows literally reading. Damn it, you can only eat that once. Now he's taking it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there is... Uh, and they appear to be sharing this meal with a, uh, a rather bird-like individual who's got uh, his wings kind of folded up and his currently very, very delicately carving into uh, what appears to be just literally nothing. Jonathan. It is John, Jonathan. <laughs> Bird person? Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as, you, uh, as you are brought in, there is, of course, a, a hostess. Ah, welcome to the gastronome. Uh, as a, a squat, uh, two foot five gnomish woman with long braids, uh, blue eyes, and uh, uh, the sides of her hair are kind of come down and mimicking like a sideburn look as they braid down the side of her face. What can I do for you? A d- table for six? I mean, yeah, but we're just checking a couple things out here. Uh, what's the displacer beast like? It's rather gamey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fair enough. I... Fair enough, Gorgon. Well, tonight the special is uh, going to be uh, three servings. We have a gravity-defying salad cloud, a whispering shadowfell stape topped with bioluminescent blight, and a chocolate tart that is flavored with revenge. That's that's good, but what about time? Anything with time? Well, you could order something with time. We do have um, that moment when you first learn to ride a bike. I've heard good things about that. Yes. Okay, I like this place. Let's sure. go. It comes in two different types, well done or rare. Mm. We don't do the other types. Mm. It's, it's, it's a little too... Training wheels or not? But this, this is exactly... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. If you wanted well done, that's with training wheels. If you wanted rare, no, uh, you get the real experience. Just, I, I like this place. It's just like full exhaust people. In There's here. a lot of people here, and they all <laughs> like, like to be... Lively, like, yeah, it's like, very lively, like, very, very well. You can hear the sounds of dishes clanging and people muttering and conversations happening. Um, and uh, there are various waiters bringing plates of just the wildest stuff you've ever seen. There's like one, there's like a gigantic eyeball with two knitting needles sticks yeah. in the board of it, and when it gets to the group of halflings that look at it, they all rub their hands and just dive in with their sharpened teeth, just like gnawing and chewing away at well, it. Well, we are going to have a so, I'll uh, find an empty table and pull the chairs out, sit down. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend eating that. No, I'm thinking about that bike myself. I'm thinking about. I love that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, is there like a menu? Um. Oh, we we don't believe in menus at the gastronome. You see, we're all about the experience. I see. This place is really. May I sit yes. with my, <laughs> May I sit with my companions and and not order? There will be a table fee. We pretend to eat. You don't know. It's, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to pay for something I'm not eating. I'll eat it. Let me see a menu. You don't have a menu. It's all verbal. Then how do I know what's in the kitchen? Oh, I killed right now. Oh, you want something that's been slaughtered live? <laughs> I, are you? Uh, do you want what? What do you wish? Uh, we have 
pretty much everything. Are you? Is this? Is this? What? Is this a covert way for you to ask for a kind of ballistic special? No, no. Because if I was oh, doing that, I'd start with like the lady of. Right. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, right. Um, well, we do have various uh, meats, uh, salads, uh, flora, fauna. Uh, we just got in some delicious rothe. You'd have just some mutton chops in the fungi flower flatjacks that I had. Back oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. Um, unfortunately, um, Celsi doesn't ever cook the same dish twice. <laughs> so if you've had it here before, I right? Oh, well, then very good. Then we shall do our best to recreate it. Uh, right. It was this, this was... An yeah, orth? Up. Near uh, the Lost Caverns of Saj Kanth over in that area. Very good. Just picture it in your mind okay. and, and we'll do the rest. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, this place is going to cost a lot, so I... So, somebody can help us. Well, I mean, I believe well, Dr. Doofus is going to be happy to put it on his tab. <laughs> for the plane. He did yeah. tell us to come here awesome. and eat, didn't he? Oh, it's it's not not recommend it. I don't actually know what to eat. I don't know what the hell we'll all would eat. What I say? Uh, I mean, the bioluminescent tart was a really good recommendation. I'll think of something like but, that. But do we I'm... have to ask her her name first? In <laughs> 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 walk. I'm so I'm getting by the bike. We, we don't have a thing. What is... is that water from the potted veil. I... You're referring to the veil on Crin. What would you gotta like specify exactly where the water's gonna come from? Like if you want like puddle water, you got it. No, the veil water. Right, right. Uh, it, I'm not sure that Crin's veil has water, and the potted veil here. I mean, I suppose I could go and ask them for some. Water. Everybody knows your world, kid. I, I'm, I'm afraid uh, I, I'm not aware of such. Sustenance within our walls. I I can speak to the chef, but I'll, I'll have whatever he's having. No, Rathi. Rathi. Roast Rathi. Oh, very good. Uh, we do have uh, a new shipment of night parade. Yes, but I want to eat night parade raw. I want to have killed them myself. Now nah, that's understandable. I can't be having second hand yeah, <laughs> Especially not here. <laughs> Could we have changed my mind? That does happen. Uh, do you have anything? Just say you have things uh, involving time. Do you have things involving emotion? Oh, yes, of course. It's some of our favorites. Uh, many uh, people return hoping to get the same thing, but of course it is against our policy. What about... Um, I was thinking about revenge, but you should know it's best served cold. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. You would never have hot revenge. <laughs> That's a boba. I was thinking of something like a penance and forgiveness. Maybe I can undo what I just do. Some penance and forgiveness, yes. Do you wish it to be sort of the... Kind of bitter the, sour. Yeah, yeah. Is this sort of a... Uh, like a, like a, like a, a patriarch type actually, acceptance, or more of a matronly uh, understanding. Could I actually get uh, an order to um, also a second order to deliver? Uh, we don't do deliver. This place is really bougie. You gotta keep that in mind. They have bright lights I'm here. I just said it in my oh, my armor. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> a, a delicious dish of uh, forgetfulness. Oh, <laughs> oh well, we do have some of that, but you'll have to decide. Would you? Are you wishing to order the two course of, of two separate? Well, I meals? can't have it sent out. Uh, no, but we no, can bring I'll, it to you. Here. I do not want to. No, no. Um, I'll take the. Uh, okay. I want to eat it, but as uh, the dependence and forgiveness. Hopefully it will work. Did you want that as the as the, the patriarch or the matronly or the friend or the self empowerment? Uh, we have many different sides. <laughs> um, <It's> weird. <laughs> the pit was better. <laughs> I don't want to myself to forgive me. I want to what? somebody else to forgive. Very, very good. Just picture that in your mind, and we'll, we'll see what mm. we can cook up. Business, business. Very, very good. Uh, we we can certainly bring that to. Mm. Um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, is there anything else? I am. I'm really craving the taste of Victor. Ah, just a, a satisfying accomplishment crazy. with a side of fries, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> Napalm in the morning is sort of Napalm. <laughs> 
the uh, the, the wait just goes away. Um, people around are continuing to enjoy themselves. You see a, a Balor just take an entire spit of flame on a stick and just... <laughs> And then the whole place begins to shake, glasses begin to clink, lights begin to pulse, and it goes oh, dark. Me? Oh. Yeah. No, there's a cane. Cast light off the sword right away. So the amber, amber sword just. <laughs> but, you know. There's a lot of people like, ah! Oh, oh, the no. vampire in the corner is like, oh! There's a vampire in the corner? Two questions. We can afford this place. Dude. I can, that's true. First of all, I'm very curious about the sword. So this is affecting personal held magic items as well as the environment, or is it just environmental? Uh, both. Okay, so I'm I'm just saying for the record, I'm just immediately taking some notes, trying to analyze, like having experienced this in the other place. Like, is there anything different about the timing, the whatever, you know, basically doing high level arcana. Yeah, like, I would say that how can I compare you do some, two events? He's doing a little bit of surveying, and then it starts to sure. come back online, but it was longer this time. All right. I mean, as I say, no need for anything specific right now, but I'm just trying to gather data. I from had a big story about that. Um, we'll, we'll be getting your order out momentarily. We just have to start everything back up again. Oh, that was weird. Next time it happens, we should all just like... I'm going to quickly just like peek cantrip to see if it works. Yeah. I don't think it would have. I said, well, I was saying it out, uh, to the side, really, but I'll say it out loud again. That next time it goes down, we should all, whoever can, uh, can can trip. Real quick, quick just to see if it works. The lights going out before? Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, it happened I earlier today. Successfully, correct? You can trip successfully. Oh, you no. did? Okay. Did. And, and so what the, about. The light on the sword went off by its standard little thing with dark. You use cast light through a sword. Oh, it? so it worked. It did work. Okay. Was there any struggle? No problems? You had no problem casting the spell, but you did feel like the blade went dull to you for that duration before it kicked back in again. Before I pushed the light? No, no, before, it, before it came, everything came back up again. So even though it did cast the light catch up, it didn't quite good. That's right. The, the other properties of the blade, the properties of the blade were not functions. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Is that magic uh, items? Well, I will that. say, so... Uh, <laughs> so I, we, can, we can spell, but magic items are no. do you think that this well first off is this sigil connected to the ornery in any way like is its own planet is this a planet that we're on mm, i don't think so i think it's the center of the multiverse i don't think it's a planet there's it's no horizon there's know. no sun it's, there's... A, it's a dimensional <laughs> node yeah would this be connected to this training ritual that seems to be happening at random iterations I mean, we were in, <clears throat> we were in the orrery chamber, and it happened, and we did not. And that was part of what I was trying to tell is is essentially it, it, we felt exactly the same. it felt exactly the same. So we're not seeing like it wasn't radiating out of the orrery, I, and they were doing the orrery ritual originally, trying to figure out. I, the was, I was trying to figure out yeah. what was causing this from happening. Right. I guess what I'm saying is is that these blackouts. Oh, me. Oh, yeah. Would you happen to know anything about these blackouts? I was going to ask you. This has never happened. I mean, I read by candlelight. Is that a uh, candle? So, because what if the ritual was cast here? Mm -hmm. What if this isn't the only place, node, dimension? has one of these orreries. Well, this is what I was telling the orrery. Yeah. What I was telling Doofus in the first yeah, place was Doofus was saying we were sucking magical energy from you to try to determine why magical energy is getting sucked from us. And I'm like, how do you know there is an, uh, another level up of guys with an orrery like you sucking it from you? Right. You it's know, there's a, another center of the universe. Right. But just double checking for us. Confirming it's our experience, it's what was happening to our world yeah. was being caused by their That's ritual, right. not they, by their they problem. were They were trying to skim the magic, and then somebody interfered and was they just decided to just wholesale take everything, and that's what happened. Otherwise, you wouldn't have noticed it. Highly theoretically and hypothetically, but with, you know, randomly... There's a one. Oh. <laughs> uh, randomly talking 40, 40 results arcana with, with yeah, the, yeah. The, you know, nice yeah, yeah. wish casting wizards. <laughs> what do we think 
the impact. This place, you described it. It's a center of the multiverse. Yeah. It's like a core of things. What do we think the impact would be of magic being completely drained from this place? Is that going to bleed out into worlds, or is it a, just the, random? Like, is this... This is a conduit of magic. I mean, so, and again, so, asking that is a okay, expert so on our thing. When the magic, as I'm following it, is the magic was sucked from this world as it was being skimmed. It's like, okay, I took a penny from you, I took a penny from yeah. you, I took a penny right, from right. you, you don't know. But then somebody came in and actually put their elbow on all the zeros. Yeah. For a second. Yeah, that's and basically like what happened million, to, the, to your worlds. Right. Penny. Sigil is um, often referred to as the fulcrum of the multiverse. Yeah. Right. It so is. We got the balance of the whole yeah, multiverse. It, it so is. Somebody's stepping on the scale, the one side so, that's messing things up. There is the, the the lady has awesome power, and right. I mean that in the literal term. Um, she, as was specified earlier, uh, she doesn't allow gods to yep. enter and the main reason for that is because if a god entered sigil and they tapped into the fulcrum of the multiverse they could rewrite reality all right so if the fulcrum of the multiverse is not active as bad <laughs> it, it 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 would allow well one the lady of pain may actually be losing some power from that because it's said that she draws her power from the city and vice versa uh, and the second thing is, um, if the fulcrum gets faulty and someone, for example, that a deity were to enter or other powerful being, they could tap into that and they could absorb not only the energy of like worlds, but all the planes. And well, no, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm having a slip with a daughter. Here we go again. Standing for me. <laughs> <laughs> How it actually is. <laughs> So turn, it's turn. It's the, the magic is the conduit, the energies of the world. Mm -hmm. Tidal, kinetic, the convection, um, the core, heat, everything. So it wouldn't extinguish all life. No, it wouldn't extinguish all life. But um, a, a thing you could do if you were a deity who mm -hmm. would maybe less than altruistic in, in their end. Mm -hmm. Is it a mister? No, I don't think you'd... That would just be bad. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying... Um, we've heard. Take a number. <laughs> the, uh, if, if a deity were to gain access to the fulcrum or a being of great power, similar to that, that the lady normally wouldn't allow entrance and they were to tap into that fulcrum, they could just decide, for example, to uh, make themselves the overpower. Yes, that's, that's what I'm thinking has happened, is something with a plan has insinuated itself into here, sigil. sigil. And it is using the skim energy to grow into demigodhood and rival the Lady of Earth. Sure. And that could offset the balance, which is bad news. Hmm. I have a question. Um, if Maple would like to give you a history check. Oh, uh, yeah. This is not with advantage because this is oh. multiversal, not. Share. Um, that's going to be really good. That'll be 20. That'll be 30. Oh, hell. Jeez. Okay. Hell. Then you hell. definitely know this. <laughs> There has only ever been one entity in all of the years and existence of Sigil in the multiverse who has ever managed to get even remotely close to accomplishing what you have uh -huh. just, what Melf has uh -huh. just suggested. Mm -hmm. But a hundred plus years ago, around 120, 150 years ago, uh, there was an, an incursion in Sigil using various loopholes in the abjuration wards and ways that were accessed into Sigil um, that ended up causing reality to shift in uh, what was maybe colloquially referred to as maybe the second age into the third age. Uh, and this incursion, this fulcrum access that nearly caused a huge ruckus in the entire multiverse and caused untoward damage that is likely still being felt today mm -hmm. was done by the Oerthian demigod Vecna. Mm -hmm. 